Well, nationwide, there are about 18 million school bus stop arm violations a year, according to the Bonneville County Sheriff's Office. I went on a ride along with one deputy who's making it his mission to get kids to and from school safely. It's been pretty consistent, unfortunately. The start of the school year seems like it's there's quite a few, and then it'll decrease for a little bit and then go back up. Um, but it's it's usually, I mean, it's, it's pretty busy. This year's been quite busy as well. It's leaving some parents on edge. Well, I've seen it before, but it's never with my own kids. So uh, with the first few weeks we were here, I'd say at least two or three times a week, there was one, sometimes three or four cars that just blow through the school bus and stop sign. I'm, it's like they're not paying attention. I mean, it's a giant yellow bus with blinking lights. A clear sign that drivers in Bonneville County are violating more often. We've had some pretty close calls uh, just this last week. I was talking with our transportation department. They had a young man uh, or a student uh, just last week that was nearly hit. He started walking and I only had my ambers on so the cars weren't stopping and the car coming thought it was a great idea to floor it to beat this stop sign out get through before the stop sign came out so it from my point of view it wasn't quite as close as i thought it was but it was still way too close the kid almost got hit by the car he stepped out the car went flying by and he kind of stepped back and and i was in the driver's seat like i it happened so quick I didn't have time to honk the horn to warn him. Oh. Nothing. There, I was completely hope, helpless and just scared the living crap out of me. For Bonneville County Sheriff Deputy Sperry, the mission to make sure kids get on and off buses safely is personal. This is, this is my daughter, Michaela. 11-year-old Michaela was killed almost 10 years ago. December 20th, it was five days before Christmas. She was getting off the school bus right in front of our house and a vehicle failed to stop and she was hit and killed. Um, I was the first first responder uh, to it. I had to do CPR on my daughter. Um, I could feel all the damage that had been done. I had to interact with the gentleman who killed her and then I had to testify at her homicide trial. They spent Christmas Eve writing her eulogy. Speary works not just with departments across Idaho, but the country. And I get invited all over North America and Canada to do trainings on school bus safety. And um, I've had the privilege of providing information to the NTSB on school bus safety. Some of the, my recommendations are now federal recommendations from the NTSB. All to get kids to and from school safely. There's one reason for school buses to be on the road and that's for transporting kids. And it's all about getting kids to and, home, to and from school safe and alive so that they can go home and, and, and hug their parents. So um, this, is, this is part of my passion and what I do. In Bonneville County, I'm Rachel Fabby.